Oh, alerts. Yes. Am, I, am I off there? <laughs> we have several in place right now. A lot of weather alerts to talk about and you know something to take serious uh, is the winter watch that we have in place because a lot of us are not used to snow and a lot of us are going to be probably driving through snow. We're talking Highway 17, Pacheco Pass. Those daily commutes that you have up and over some of those higher elevations are most likely going to see snow. And uh, you know, a lot of us probably don't even have snow tires on our cars because we just don't see it around here. So that's something to keep in mind over the next couple of days. Now we are gonna see rounds of showers throughout the day today into tomorrow. So I'm gonna speed this future cast through tomorrow morning. And uh, with that, we are gonna see those rounds of showers pushing to into our interior locations today. Now, uh, those higher elevations, we're not just talking rounds of rain showers, these are also snow showers. So those higher elevations, the hills of San Benito County, the Santa Lucia Range, the Santa Cruz Mountains, we are going to start accumulating a little bit of snow in those higher elevations through the next couple of days with these rounds of showers. Now, also, isolated showers could have the potential for a thunderstorm. So we could actually see heavier uh, downpours with these systems, we could see a little bit of hail and maybe even some grapple with this. So we got a little bit of everything going on here and those winds are still gusty this morning, but they will, like I mentioned earlier, die down a little bit as we head into the afternoon. Friday, the late Thursday into Friday morning gets a little interesting. That low is going to continue to track down into our area and as it does, we're actually going to pick up a little bit more moisture and we're going to see more widespread showers across the central coast and more widespread snow showers for those higher elevations. So we're actually going to be getting a bit more rainfall totals out of this and a bit more snow accumulation out of this. And you can actually see that low rotating here right above us. That's going to continue to move through our area on Friday before it scoots down to the south. And we should have some calmer weather as we head into the weekend. But we do have some winter alerts to tell you about. A winter watch still in place. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about these because for the higher elevations, this is really, like I said, for the Santa Cruz County, the hills the San Benito County and the Santa Lucia range, we could see a flake and I'm not joking. We could see a flake at sea level. This could be mixed in with some of the rain showers we have. So if you're driving along and you're using your windshield wipers, it might not be out of the question to see a snowflake mixed in with that rain. So just something to keep an eye out for. Uh, but we could see a dusting of snow anywhere between 1,000 to 1,500 feet, one to three inches at 1,500 feet, and then three to six inches plus, and I should say six inches plus for some of those higher elevations, 2,000 feet and higher. Choose Ridge, which we just showed you not too long ago, is about 5,000 feet. So we are already accumulating snow in those higher peaks this morning. And then as we head into Thursday night into Friday morning, we have another winter winter storm watch that's going into place. This is an additional amount of snow that we could see in those hills, a dusting at 1500 feet, four to 12 more inches of snow in those higher elevations and those higher elevations anywhere between three to 4,000 feet. We could see an additional 15 to 18 inches. We're talking feet of snow here in those higher elevations. We also have very cold temperatures that are going to be setting in. We do have a freeze warning. That's that dark purple you see here. We are expecting to see sub freezing temperatures as low as 26 to 28 degrees. Now some of our sheltered valley locations have already hit those teams this uh, winter, but it's something we need to point out here for you. And then everything you see in this light purple here, that is a frost advisory. This is for the entire coast, the northern portion of the Salinas Valley and the Hollister Valley. This uh, frost and freeze alert go into place, well they went into place tonight and they will last until Thursday morning. So we have very cold temperatures moving in and it starts with our daytime highs today. Uh, because of the those winds though we still have a high surf alert for the southern portion of the Monterey Bay along the Big Sur Coast breakers of 20 to 25 feet and uh, Santa Cruz County you're not out of the woods we do have a beach hazard statement up in the northern portion of the Monterey Bay breaking waves 8 to 12 feet the peak of these waves by the way are going to be this morning so we will start to see those beach hazards kind of calm down throughout the afternoon they do expire at 4 p.m. quickly here here's a look at your temperature day high highs look like uh, overnight lows, upper 40s to low 50s today. So temperatures are very much going to be on the cool side. So bundle up.